In this tutorial we will learn about coroutines in Unity 3D game engine using C-sharp scripting. A coroutine allows you to spread tasks across several frames. In Unity, a coroutine is a method that can pause execution and return control to Unity but then continue where it left off on the following frame. In most situations, when you call a method, it runs to completion and then returns control to the calling method, plus any optional return values. This means that any action that takes place within a method must happen within a single frame update. In situations where you would like to use a method call to contain a procedural animation or a sequence of events over time, you can use a coroutine. It's best to use coroutines if you need to deal with long asynchronous operations, such as waiting for HTTP transfers, asset loads, or file input output to complete. As an example, consider the task of gradually reducing an object's alpha, opacity, value until it becomes invisible. In this example, the fade method doesn't have the effect you might expect. To make the fading visible, you must reduce the alpha of the fade over a sequence of frames to display the intermediate values that Unity renders. However, this example method executes in its entirety within a single frame update. The intermediate values are never displayed, and the object disappears instantly. To work around this situation, you could add code to the update function that executes the fade on a frame-by-frame -frame basis. However, it can be more convenient to use a coroutine for this kind of task. In c -sharp, you declare a coroutine like this. A coroutine is a method that you declare with an I enumerator return type and with a yield return statement included somewhere in the body. The yield return null line is the point where execution pauses and resumes in the following frame. To set a coroutine running, you need to use the start coroutine function. The loop counter in the fade function maintains its correct value over the lifetime of the coroutine, and any variable or parameter is preserved between yield statements. By default, Unity resumes a coroutine on the frame after a yield statement. If you want to introduce a time delay, use wait for seconds. You can use wait for seconds to spread an effect over a period of time, and you can use it as an alternative to including the tasks in the update method. Unity calls the update method several times per second, so if you don't need a task to be repeated quite so often, you can put it in a coroutine to get a regular update but not every single frame. For example, you can might have an alarm in your application that warns the player if an enemy is nearby with the following code. If there are a lot of enemies, then calling this function every frame might introduce a significant overhead. However, you could use a coroutine to call it every tenth of a second. This reduces the number of checks that Unity carries out without any noticeable effect on gameplay. To stop a coroutine, use stop coroutine and stop all coroutines. A coroutine also stops if you've set set active to false to disable the game object the coroutine is attached to. Calling destroy, example, where example is a mono behavior instance, immediately triggers on disable and Unity processes the coroutine, effectively stopping it. Finally, onDestroy is invoked at the end of the frame. I hope this helped. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share my channel for more fun videos, and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.